It's the men's doubles final. Let's hear it for the number one seeds from Indonesia. Mohamed Hassan and Hendra Sataoa. The world champions, the world number ones, the number one seeds at the All England Championships. Mohamed Hassan and Hendra Setiawan. Setiawan, so many titles to his name, world and Olympic champion, but never an All England title. And I'm starting to lose control. And let's hear it for their opponents from Japan, the number two seeds, Hiroyuki Endo. Kenichi Hawakawa and Hiroyuki Endo, a second consecutive year that they take centre stage on finals day. Last year they were desperately nervous, that's understandable, they lost out to Liu Xiaolong and Chu Sihan. Sinberg, Denmark, and that's the toss of the coin. Looks like the Japanese pair have won the toss and looks like they wish to start the far end, or maybe he was pointing towards his partner saying Hawakawa will serve. So it's the men's doubles final there, Mohamed So the number one and, and two seeds. And the only Kenichi other. Hayakawa. Mohamed Hassan and Hendra Sataiwan are the world champions. Finals, the uh, men's singles and, and mixed doubles to feature the number one and two. Hendra Setiawan on the left as we look at them. The 29-year-old from the ancient city of Malang in East Java. His partner, 26, from Palembang in South Sumatra. Last year, they were beaten semi-finalists here at the All England but they went on to take the World Championship gold medal uh, beating Bo and Morgensen from Denmark at the World Championships last year in Guangzhou at this year's All England well they had a battle in the second round against England's Chris Langridge and Peter Mills went the full distance there but their semi-final yesterday against teammates Gideon Marcus Finaldi and Seti One's former partner Marcus Kido was astonishing. It was 21 minutes only for 21 7, 21 12. The world champions, quite simply, were on fire. So, to their opponents and the number two seeds, up one place in the world ranking this week to number two, a career high number two, Kanichi Hawakawa on the left as we look at them. 27 years of age, although he'll turn 28 next month. Hiroyuki Endo, 27. And as I say, they were beaten finalists from last year. This year's All England, well, they had their problems a couple of times, went the full distance, including the semi final, the last match on yesterday against Go Sung Hyung and Shin Bek Cho lost the opening game but came back strongly in the decider. Well, it's the second final in two weeks for the Japanese pair. They were beaten finalists at the German Grand Prix gold a week ago. So a good start to the year. Their first two Super Series events of 2014, two semi-finals. There is our umpire. Ready to play. Jakob. Sinberg, Paraka Anderson of Sweden will be our service judge. So the number two seeds there, the Japanese pair, second consecutive All England final. 
a second final in two weeks having been beaten in the final of the German Open they are on a winning streak they're playing very well but so too is this pair the world champions Endra 31 and Mohamed Hassan there's Mohamed Hassan the 26 year old his partner three years older and for Hendra Setiawan, Olympic Ladies champion in Beijing, world champion, champion in 2007. Men's doubles final. Between, on my right, Kinichi Hayakawa, Hiroyuki Endo, Japan. And on my left, Hendra Setiawan, Mohamed Hassan, Indonesia. The world champions nearest to us. To serve to Muhammad Hassan Lavol. Play. The Indonesians Hassan and Setia one. They've been so good since they formed their partnership. One, but the one title no. missing for Hendra Setia one is a New England title. Now, I'm absolutely delighted to say that joining me is President of the BWF, the Badminton World Federation, and newly elected IOC member, Paul Eric Hoyer Larson. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Well, Paul Eric, we were discussing just a moment ago the quality of the women's doubles, and already. This men's doubles of the very, very highest quality. Indeed, uh, the the speed in uh, this game. We will see some tremendous uh, uh, drives over the net, uh, speed towards the net, and it will be very interesting to see who will get the best control of this game. And I think uh, Indonesia right now has the upper hand, um, but it's the best in the world we are seeing on the court yeah. right now. Yeah. Well, you talk about getting an upper hand when you look at the five previous matches that these two pairs have played against each One, other. Three. The Indonesians have won on all five occasions. So it's a tall order for the Japanese pair, but I suppose having learned from last year's experience being in the final, that could help them today. Nothing to lose. Well, they, they feel they have nothing to lose, everything to, to win. Uh, still, they are facing the number one in the world uh, and uh, they have gained confidence over the last year uh, being in uh, many semi-finals and finals so I'm sure that uh, they will definitely come up with something against uh, the Indonesian pair. Yeah. And of course no Two, Japanese three. man has ever won a title here at the All England Championships. In fact the last Japanese winners were women's doubles Takuda and Takada 36 years ago so history could be made today so and that's another issue because as you and i were chatting a little bit earlier about the three, dominance in women's four. doubles women's singles later on the chinese dominance in in the women's disciplines here we have an opportunity for another nation to come in in this discipline of men's doubles and and showcase to the world that it's it's not just one nation dominating badminton absolutely not and uh, we can Four, see uh, indonesia is uh, really holding on not only to the men's doubles they actually have been having uh, some fantastic men's doubles over many many years yeah but also the mixed doubles it's it's uh, really open and uh, right Thanks now so indonesia also producing really well so so i do think that uh, we have other Four. nations that are able to tap in now and uh, show the very best of badminton not only from china but actually it's coming from other nations as well yeah well i think the all england draw here in the men's doubles emphasizing that at quarter final stage six different nations involved semi-final stage there were no chinese pairs Five, left in four. and these two pairs are the number one and two pairs in the world at the moment so this is the best of the best
six well, the Indonesians four. very definitely have their favoured formation Hendra Setia one so effective at the front of the court he intercepts so well reads the game so well his partner Mohamed Hassan is so quick at the back of the court no, he's not, not really too slow at the front there either <laughs> definitely not I mean uh, this Five, is definitely six. right now a game on who is getting the control at the net and uh, they are forcing themselves pushing them towards the net all the time uh, not want to give away the uh, offensive position well there is a prime example of the capabilities of Hendra Sedia one at the front of the court Six, how on earth did four. he find that angle just look at this looks as if he's going to play a hard fast shot and then just guides the shuttle across court absolutely play. delightful I think back 12 months and seven, six. I really felt so sorry for Hawakawa and Endo. They looked absolutely crippled by nerves. They looked far more aggressive and far more confident already this year. How much do you four. think the fact that Setia One has achieved virtually everything there is to achieve in the game, world and Olympic titles, and yet this All England, which has been the oldest and most traditional Seven. event, very, very prestigious event Seven. in the All England Championships, and it's sort of been the one tournament that's missing from his CV. Does that add pressure? Definitely. I, I do believe that uh, he really wants to have this uh, title and the... Uh, uh, that can create Seven some uh, eagerness and when you're too oh. eager sometimes you fail and uh, even though that would say he's clever uh, he maybe is at the, the stage of his career that he can control it yeah. but you never know when it's really getting close what will happen and uh, that could be the mental side of it really wanting and then mm. all of a sudden lose it yeah from the Japanese pair Hiroyuki Endo at the front of the court very athletic Ten, eight. having to arch his back to play that shot with the round the head action So fast is this man, Nine, Muhammad Hassan. Ten. the number two seeds who have a two-point advantage at the mid-game interval of the opening game coach Park Dubon well surely he's pretty happy with his men at the moment and poor Eric just tell us with your IOC hat on the importance of 
the Olympic status for us as a pair. I'm, I'm just thinking back to the first Olympic Games in Barcelona in 1992 when badminton became a full Olympic sport. It doesn't just create history in sporting terms, it's bigger seconds. than that because I remember the Indonesians winning gold medals. It was their first ever gold medals in any sport and therefore through badminton the Olympic movement and the, uh, the IOC was spreading its wings through our sport which again is a very good thing uh, for us as a sport of badminton. It certainly is, and uh, not only the interest from each country, it's also money-wise. I mean, you want to invest as a nation to have this chance to uh, experience such joy, such happiness, uh, unites the nation. That is actually what is happening when you have the Olympics, and that was exactly what happened in Indonesia when Susi Susanti came back home with Alan Kusuma, uh, having such a success at the 92 Olympics in Barcelona. Um, that united the nation. So yeah. these moments uh, is of course a possibility now because we are in the Olympics. Yeah, yeah. So important. Oh, the shuttle actually getting stuck in the strings there. And there you can see why the strings broke. Where it was hitting the shuttle at the edge of the racket head there. And they need to be hitting it on the sweet spot in the centre of the racket. Oh, it was very evident two years ago how the Olympics can bring a nation together here with the London Olympics. It was honestly, I know I'm biased being British, but you know, I've been working or competing at Olympics since Badminton's first involvement, and I have to say it was very, very special Olympic Games. and. I know the players on courts, this is what they all build towards and it, it is that 11, coming together 13. of the whole nation. We see it in football when there's high drama at World Cups and so on and despair if a team loses but there'll be badminton fans all over the world right now watching this match and nations coming together and that's the beauty of sport isn't it? It certainly is and uh, that's uh, definitely the key thing for sports. Uh, this environment is so unique in that aspect, so therefore Olympics is uh, definitely an area where, I mean, everybody is uh, allowed to be part of uh, the Olympics. And uh, also, uh, I experienced in London 12 uh, how well received this Olympics were taken from the, the citizens of London, but also the whole United Kingdom actually uh, I felt they were joining in and uh, they uh, experienced some wonderful days with the Olympics in London yeah well this match quite frankly is getting better and better it started well yeah, more rackets broken To me, it seems a bit like uh, the Japanese is uh, forcing themselves to have one person in front of the net and then the other one right behind him, waiting for the opportunity, but the front person really chasing each and every shuttle coming towards him. Yeah. Oh, service fault called, struck him up the way, says the service judge. Oh, like Anderson from Sweden. Well, a little quizzical look from Hawakawa. Oh, good spot. Yeah, above the waist. Now, just to explain, Nana, just watch his left arm, how he raises that left arm to play the flick serve, and that's why it's called a fault. Shuffle must be struck below the waist, and the waist defined is below the lowest rib. 15, 13. Oh, 
That's nice. Yeah. All out attack by the Indonesians. Obviously, very, very important. Oh, well taken. place at the right time 16 14 and it certainly was a magnificent shot this course backhand lift so to speak and then follow through into the position at the net and uh, killing it um, you've seen these kind of uh, opening uh, the court by the cross uh, shot and uh, it has been a success both for the Japanese but also for the Indonesians right now It's all level. 16. Oh. oh my goodness, he slipped Mohammed Hassan as he landed on the carpets around the courts. That appears to be okay. My goodness me, my heart missed a beat there. Gone long. 17, 16. Three straight points for the Indonesians. Oh, brilliant. Oh, no. That is sensational. The dive first of all from Endo. How on earth did he get that back? Well, he certainly can't accuse them of lack of effort. Oh, that was really incredible, agile, and the way he was able to act with his racket, controlling the shot. Diving away from the court, 18, and it still had the rapid hit control to hit the shuttle in the opposite direction. Four straight points now for the Indonesians. Oh, 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 well in. Oh, we've been talking about the drift. There is a slight sideways drift from right to left as we look down on the court, and that drift brought this shot back in. And it was well in. Five straight points. And the run continues. And now it's game point opportunities. Four of them to be precise. Yeah. 
Well, that's probably about as angry as you'll ever see in the Recipio one yet. <laughs> off the top of the tape and went wide and three game points have come and gone just one more remains for the Indonesians 19 20 yeah fight one Return. Uh, on their fourth opportunity, the world champions take the opening game 21 19. 21 minutes. Well, what a good opening game 21 19. And the world champions are one game away from the All England title. Well, poor Eric. Poor Larson. Sadly, had to leave us and go and do his other duties as president of the BWF. Delighted to say that Morton Frost is back with us. What a good opening game, Morton. It was. I was sitting down there by the players watching it because there's not much room up here. So uh, I was sitting down there and it was wonderful to watch. Great, great match. And uh, I can tell you, even the, their compatriots sitting down there, they enjoy the badminton as well. So it's good. Fantastic. Well, from some of their gestures, the Indonesian okay. coaches, you wouldn't Next. believe that their men have just won the opening game, seem to be very intense trying to encourage them and urge them on. Well, with Paul Eric Koya Larson, the president of the BWF and IOC member, he's had to go and Second deal day. with other duties, so Morton Frost is back with me. Morton, you were just, I do <laughs> just <laughs> telling me that you've been sitting courtside watching that opening I have. Game. It was wonderful. Yeah. Um, great intensity. Really, really quick badminton. Some terrific rallies. You and I have been talking at times, and in fact, Paul Eric was mentioning to me that he thought sometimes women's doubles was more entertaining nowadays than men's doubles. But my goodness, the opening game had just about everything, didn't it? They do very much. I, I agree that um, we, we talked about it uh, on numerous occasions uh, earlier this week uh, about the men's doubles and how quick it is and short rallies and all that. But this one here is excellent. Yeah. 
And what a contrast to last year with Hayakawa and Endo. Last year, absolutely crippled with nerves. This year, my goodness, I think they're playing about just as well as I've ever seen them. Yeah, it's excellent. Really good. not knowing what has been said here in the first uh, game here but uh, I, I can't recall I've seen anyone as quick as Indo in there uh, in that men's doubles his legs they're so quick <laughs> he is, we've seen occasions where he's, he's jumping and Three, almost landing out on four. the carpet on the blue and the next split second he's opposite smashing again Three. remarking earlier on Morton about the speed of Mohammed Hassan but mm. I, I I bow to you because you're absolutely right I mean there was a couple of occasions and uh, also a couple of dives for him that were just extraordinary yeah but they're very similar style I, I agree with you on that yeah Disguise. Uh, the Japanese player is asking for it in my book. The uh, defensive stand is, is really quite far back, and obviously it's, it's opening up for these opportunities of uh, drop shots, blocks, and so on. So they were really asking for it here. I was looking back at the record books, more than I was really quite surprised uh, that Japan has never, Six, never won four. any men's title. Yeah, any men's title. I, I thought it was only men's doubles. No, I couldn't yeah. find a men's singles winner or a mixed doubles winner. Yeah, that's amazing. Such a good nation. Yeah. Five. But also Six. astonishing to me is the fact that it's 11 years since the last Indonesian winners of the All England. Chandra Bujaya and Sigit Budiato back in 2003. Is that 11 years ago? Yeah. And we think of one great Indonesian men's doubles power after another. Yeah. Seven, five. Good to Burinay, oh, she's in Matema. Oh, good flick serve. Very quick. Supposed to get away with that. Oh. Oh, the Indonesians are really playing well now. Total control in this rally as well. Finding the gap the whole time, adding on the pressure, and makes it a really easy finish. Eight, five. Mm, somebody's saying, look for that one right on the head. Nine. 
Oh, the Japanese pair have to be awfully careful here. Yeah, they've got to reinvent themselves now. Yeah. into that defensive shot that was much better it was and closing the gap oh. <coughs> oh, there's your quick man again Morton yeah Don't do that. <coughs> oh, bounced off the top of the tape and went over. Ten, Defensive play from the Japanese pair. Work rate play from Mohammed Hassan at the back of the court. <laughs> yeah, and then getting caught, and then just a, an easy finish at the net after all that hard work. Disappointed. That was a golden opportunity for Hiroki Endo. And the Indonesians go to the mid-game interval with a two-point advantage. He was very expressive. Been around for many years. Yes. He's been lifting not just a few players but a whole system. Yeah. Eleven, nine. Play. Is there anything different that the Japanese players should be doing, Morton? No, I, I think they um, they managed to, to save the situation and, and now it's only one point to drift. And, uh, you know, stick to it to what they've done so far now, I, I would do that. But had they been 11-5 down, they had to do something differently. Yeah. Error from Mohammed Hassan. On the back level. But there's no doubt that the Japanese pair is, is a little bit more prepared to um, defend 
and then counter-attack when opportunities arises. That's where the Indonesians are just incredible. Yeah, it's amazing. This man hardly seems to move, but he's always in the right place at the right time. He is. Quick, quick racket. Back level, 12 all. 12 all. The Indonesians here almost saving the situation, even though it was pretty desperate. Yeah. yeah, he's got to lift it. No, yeah, trying to be a little too cute with for too, too low position to do yeah. anything. Hassan, really working well. And he gives 100% in every single one of those matches. 14, 13. just skims the net in fact there was a net caught on the reply mm. point for point 15 all. so we had a crack of the women's doubles and now we're having a crack of the men's doubles yeah It's nice when it happens on these final days. Yeah. Sometimes it it does fizzle out. Well. Yeah, he read it well and uh, but didn't manage to get all the way on top of the tape. Well read. And that's what I like about, uh, I wouldn't say this new Japanese duffel, but what I like about this duffel player is that they seem to be um, more tactical, aware and astute. 
Yeah, you think in the past maybe it was all fast, fast and, and furious. Yeah, I agree. And, and here they they have um, a better eye for it. Mm. And that's what I enjoy a lot. Yeah! Better variation, better thinking. Yeah. 16, off. That interception there is really good. That was a chance to take. 17. Really trying to force oh. his way through, and this one, that one is coming there. That's a very, very risky shot when you have Sediaman standing there. here from Mohamed Hassan one, two, three yeah. proving that he too can play from the net and the Indonesians just two points away from the title 19, 17 Outstanding in the World Championship final was Mohamed Hassan, and he's kept his intensity. The last few rallies, he's been outstanding again, and he and his partner now on the verge of victory. Three match point opportunities. Here it comes. Oh, it's quite good. There's a challenge. There's a challenge, There's a challenge, challenge on match Canada. point. They have to challenge it. <laughs> it was called cool, good. I thought it was long. Ooh. It's in. It's in. According to what we can see here, it clips the line. Oh, it's out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The judgment is made. Yes. And the Japanese 20. pair are given a lifeline. thinking yeah the idea is not bad he was scared that there will be a follow-up he's got the back to to his opponent he can't really see if they're moving into the net so he was scared he was just blocking 19, it straight 20. that someone will be standing there so he was going cross the idea was fine two match points saved one more remains champions once again 21 19 21 19 and for a second consecutive year it is heartache for Hayakawa and Endo well for Endra Setiawan 
he now has achieved all of the big ones as far as badminton is concerned he adds the all england title to his two world titles and his olympic title from beijing in 2008 the indonesian coaches celebrate as well but let's give thought to the japanese pair you need two good pairs to make such a good final 21 19 21 19 and the indonesians are champions this the final rally a shame it had to end on an error when it's been such a terrific match the moment of victory the celebration for Mohamed Hassan Indonesia have men's doubles champions once again after an 11 year drought So let's get a word. Let's get a word with our champions, Mohamed Hassan and Hendra Satayawan from Indonesia. Yudo is our translator. How special was that? Seberapa istimewa kah kemenangan tersebut? Sangat istimewa buat kami. Terima kasih atas dukungan supporter Indonesia. Terima kasih yang nyasin juga di rumah. Terima kasih buat doanya semua. Very special to us. Thank you very much for the Indonesian supporters. Thank you very much for all the prayers that you have given to us. How important is it to have such a noisy band of supporters? Seberapakah pentingnya memiliki dukungan supporter yang berisik? Ya, kita merasa seperti di rumah sendiri ya, walaupun main di Inggris. Jadi, terima kasih banyak. Thank you very much. We feel very much at home, even though we are playing in Great Britain. Let's hear it for our champions, Mohamed Hassan and Henry Sutton. All England Open Badminton Championships. Please welcome Shuichi Yoniyama, Executive Managing Director of Yonex Europe, Diana Troke, Member of the Badminton England Board of Directors, and Paul Eric Hoyer, President of the Badminton World Federation. Now, before we celebrate with our athletes, let's mark the contribution of our officials, our umpire from Denmark, Jakob Sinberg, and the service judge pair, Aka Anderson of Sweden. Jakob Sinberg, the umpire for that men's doubles final. And the service judge get mementos. Great honour for our court officials to be chosen to officiate at an all in one final. The world number twos, Kenichi Hayakawa and Hiroyuki Endo. For a second consecutive year, they have to settle for second best. Shuichi Yoniyama presenting the runners up medals. And of course, the MetLife Snoopy mascots. Let's hear it for our runners up. Here are Yuki Endo and Kenichi Hayakawa of Japan. And now let's hear it for our winners from Indonesia. Mohamed Hassan and Hendra Sattawa. The world 
world champions are now the All England champions. Mohammed Hassan and Hendra Setiawan. their medals from Diana Troke. A seventh career title for the Indonesians. And a precious first All England title also for the man, Seti One, who has won so much in the world of badminton. To our winners. And finally, receiving the coveted trophy from Paul Eric Hoyer. The Yonex All England Open Men's Doubles Badminton Champions. Let's hear it for Mohamed Hassan and Henry Sattar. Both pairs take their lap of honour at the NIA. Crowds getting this close to the stars. Just to remind you, ladies and gentlemen, Nathan Robinson, one of Badminton England's star performers, signing autographs. And even the Eva Mountain of Badminton stand in the concourse right now. If you'd like to give Nathan Robinson his signature, add it to your autograph collection. It's at the Eva Mountain Badminton stand in the main concourse right now.